Alright, so we're going to be looking at how to install and set up OBS software uh, for use in recording your screen. Um, if you're going to do a PowerPoint presentation, for instance, and if you want to overlay a webcam on top of that. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the OBS project website, which is obsproject.com. So when you get there, it should look something like this. It says Open Broadcaster Software. That's what the OBS stands for. Um, what this basically is, is a free program for Windows, Mac, or Linux. I'm on a Windows machine right now, um, but the Linux and Mac installations sh should be fairly straightforward as well. Um, so OBS software is free software developed by a community of people so OBS is free software that you can use on any of these platforms, Windows, Mac, mm -hmm. Linux. And you can see some of the features on the website here. If we keep going down, you can see some more specific breakdowns of what you can do in OBS. And uh, it's a very kind of broad software that you can do a lot of things with. Um, I'm going to show you exactly how to set it up today for this type of project where you record the desktop and a webcam. So because I'm on a Windows PC, I'm going to go ahead and click Windows. And you see that OBS Studio 22.0 something there is uh, popping up and it's going to do something very similar for you. So when this file has completed downloading, I'm just going to click it. and then I'm going to give it permission and it's going to walk me through the setup so when this screen comes up I'm just going to go through the steps I'm going to click next I'm going to agree to the license I'm going to say that this is a good place to install it so next and OBS studio browser source release I'm just going to leave this alone and click install So as this finishes up, it's got Launch OBS Studio checked. We can leave that alone, and I'm going to click Finish. Now, depending on your machine and what you already have installed, there can be a couple of extra steps after that that I didn't show because I'm already set up and good to go. Um, sometimes it needs you to install DirectX or a couple of other things. Uh, sometimes it'll, it'll walk you through that, though. Uh, sometimes you need to restart the computer before it's ready to go. If it prompts you to restart, just go ahead and do that, and then when it comes back up, you can load into OBS.